Hi, welcome to my channel, Granny Annie Creates. Today I'm going to show you how to draw your own crochet pattern. So if somebody asks you, oh wow, can you teach me how to crochet a granny square? And then they're like, oh, I'll never remember that when I get home. You can quickly draw them a granny square diagram and then explain it to them. And they can take it away and remember how to do a granny square. It'll also help you be able to write your own patterns and um, yeah help you remember how to do a granny square so we need a couple of different colored sharpies or any felt tip and some paper i've already marked on my paper the middle of my granny square and then i've split it up into segments and carried them on into the next because when you look at the construction of a granny square if the middle bit is a circle then it turns into a cross and then it turns into a square so for the circle for the starting thing of our granny square we're going to chain six so that is a chain stitch in a written pattern so we need six of those one two three four five six and then we're going to join the round with a slip stitch and that's how you depict a slip stitch in your crochet so I just need to rip the bit of paper off because I'm aware that I need you to see this bit of the paper so on the next round we're still with the same colour and we're going to do a chain of three so one, two, three, and then there's two double crochets to be worked in at the same space as those. And the double crochet is depicted like that because that's how many times you wrap around your hook before you work into the chain spaces. So to create this corner that's actually now covered under the purple, it's a chain of three. So we're going to go one, two, three, into the next area that's going to have some stitches. And this time we're going to have three doubles because we had two last time because the turning chain gave us the first stitch. So in each cluster all the way around. Now we're going to have three doubles. And like I say, the double crochet stitch is depicted like that. And that's how we go round the whole round now, putting three chain stitches and three double crochets. Ending with three chain stitches and a slip stitch to end the round. And that will give you the middle part of your granny square. That's how it looks in a diagram form. Then I'm going to change colour and we're going to do the purple part of the granny square. So we're going to start here and we're going to give ourselves, no sorry here, we're going to give ourselves a turn and chain of three which gives us the height of the stitch and we're going to create this corner in this chain space here of the previous round. And so for this corner we've got our chain three, we're then going to have two doubles and then chain three 
and then three doubles and they're all going into that chain three space of the blue round. Then we need to jump this next little cluster of three blue ones and that is done by one chain so sort of an elongated shape to get us into the next corner which will then be three doubles chain three and three doubles all the way around and that's how you do a diagram for yourself or your, for your friends just to remind yourself um, you know how to do a granny square and you can always write little figures in like this is one two three four five six so I put a six there so I don't have to count it every time but the other ones are you can see that that's a three and a three and a three but yeah if there's anything with a really long uh, chain you can always pop the number in the chain and then saves counting it every time I'm just going to finish this off chain three three doubles one big one to jump that cluster now my pen's deciding to run out <laughs> one two three one two three and we'll chain three and then come on pen give me enough for a clip stitch <laughs> just there so yeah that's our granny square in a diagram format Hi, if you're liking my content today, it'd be great if you could hit the like button, share and subscribe. This will help other people find my challenge, channel <laughs> and I really appreciate it. And if you want to connect further with me and in my crochet world, click the comment section below and there'll be links to my free ebook on beginner crochet stitches, my patterns and other tons of other stuff to help you with your crochet, knitting and sewing. Thanks for watching.